See, we did that on the last um, on the last bunny hop tutorial, and that way it should be easy for those of you that have done that. And uh, a couple of settings that you need to follow is on map, choose whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. Eight players, I tend to do, to choose. I recommend you guys follow the exact same settings as, as me because there is a reason for most of them. Um, game doesn't matter mostly. And uh, CPU players, make sure the bots join the team counter terrorists and jo bots join after a player joins. So let's press start there and start our server. So make sure you choose counter terrorist forces because that way they we join the same team as that guy. And like I said last time, we have a game that runs forever. So um, which is what we need ultimately for this. Um, hopefully, if you can get good at this, you can get good at doing it on other games as well. So. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start by finding our player base, like I said, and the base entity. So we've created our, our game with bots. Um, so what we're gonna start off by doing is turning on SV cheat. So again, you need console for this. Press the button below escape key, SV cheats one, and this will allow us to do a couple of cheats. Now, a lot of you guys were wondering um, why are we doing all these shortcuts on on um, Counter Strike, and the reason why we're doing them is because they're there, they're available, and you gotta kind of learn the tricks around each game and a lot of games will have tricks other games will be much more difficult so the, the the better you can get at doing these things the easier it will be to move on to a more difficult game so um, you know because we have the that, those options available we're going to use them so SV cheats one that will allow us to do a couple of things and also for you know for sakes of reducing time with the tutorial they're very helpful so we want to scan for the place health health first thing so you can see here 100 100 so we're going to search for that Let's look for it. We get a billion results. Probably not very accurate. It's only 6,000. So we have that and we go, uh, right, hurt me. Uh, let's do any number you can do. I'm going to do 12. Uh, hurt me, 12. And what that does is it does some damage to us. You can jump off a building and lose some damage. Same thing. I'm just going to do next scan, 88. As you can see, we don't have that many variables. Now, I'm going to skip a little bit on this one because on the last tutorial, we found out that um, our our exact address, the correct address, will be the one that um, has uh, eight bytes in front of it, the current team of the player. So please, please, if you have trouble with this, go back to the bunny hop tutorial, you'll learn a lot more. Um, so we know that, and I pretty much know that, I'm pretty sure it's this one here. So when we browse this memory region, so press Control B or right click, browse memory region, you should see the eight bytes in front of it. So uh, this is it. So one, two, Three, so it's technically, well, it's not technically nine, but you count nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So as you can see that on the eighth byte, we can see that um, we can see that uh, our current team is three. So if you went on all the debug and research, MI team num and uh, the health as well, you would have found these things. Uh, again, please go back if you're having trouble with this, because I can't, I can't, I don't want to go over it twice as I've already. Um, covered in the last tutorial, so we we know that this is our correct address. So um, for our health, um, so we go here and we point to scan this address, and we do max level one, and I'm just going to do one thread scanning because I'm doing recording already. So just store it as anything, uh, ABC, um, and this let it scan and let it grab our information. So again. Um, you know, you need to get the right address and the one that has the number either three, three will be counter terrorists, two will be terrorists, and one I think is uh, something like uh, spectator. So we get all these addresses. Now we know that the offset is 90, the offset for uh, health is 90, so we add all of these one, two, three, four, add all of these. And we have all these uh, things here. So what we know for a fact is that the first address, and I did mention this for a second in the last tutorial, the first ad address is our base entity, so that stores um, our player data. And the second address is our entity list uh, data. So what the second one will store is our data, the enemy's data, um, and, well, yeah, that. So it and store, stores our, our information and all the other enemies as well. So it's every player. So now I'm saying this, but obviously, you know, it's fine if you don't want to believe that because we're going to get some evidence of that and we're going to find out how that's true. So um, we've got that. Now we've done the point scan, had the address. Yeah, so what we're going to do now, um, because we found. 
Yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to double click click these first two addresses here. So get get those values. So highlight that, copy that information. Don't care about that offset for now. Um, because we found out in the last tutorial that the offset of 90 gives us the health, which means that without the 90, so if we just do this address here, so copy that, it gives us our player base. So so paste that into there, add address menu, paste it into there. Okay. And go into the second one as well. We'll we'll only do the first two for now. If if those are incorrect, we'll check the other ones, but we'll find that out. So high click uh, highlight that again, click so copy it and then um, go here and paste that so we added two of them so we've got these two added now uh, just go here highlight these two right click show us hexadecimal because that will make our lives easier um, so we have these two addresses here which is fine and what we want to do now is we've added them manually and what we're going to do now is uh, get our base entity so that will be for the enemy is that correct? Let me just read my notes. Uh, that seems about right. So we're going to find out the information about our enemy now. So go into the first one here, because if you think about this in in um, in terms of memory as a programmer kind of thing, you think, well, if I have a game and I have um, and I have to store information about a ton of players, or let's say I want to store my normal players separately, you just create an object and boom, you store all of, all of this information there, and that will be nowhere near your other players. Now, if you want a, a, an array or a list, whatever, that you want to loop through, let's say we want to check all the players' health to perhaps do something, or let's say we want to, if we have the scoreboard here, and we want to, someone press this tab, we want to display the scoreboard, so we loop through all the enemies' health. Either way, the gamer has to have an array or, an, or a, a list which stores all the players information and so that it can access it easily so there has to be a, a pointer array somewhere or uh, an objects array that we can access that information so in our case we're going to try and find that um, so we're going to look at the first address here and we're going to go doo -doo -doo -doo. we're going to dissect the data structure so right click let's do the first one first browse this memory region we have all this information here uh, Go, click on tools or you can press ctrl D and dissect data structures okay and we have this address here FB04 hopefully this is the right thing I'll confirm in a second so just okay everything should everything should be fine um, so the first thing that you get here is a pointer so what is this doing it's it's giving us a pointer so if you click on this we got all this information so let's look at 90 what have we got here at 90? We found out in the previous tutorial that 90 is our offset for health. Is our health 88? Yes, it is. Guess what? We found our pointer to our main player. Okay? And perhaps the pointer to the entire list, we'll find out. If we go, just to make sure, we also found out in the last tutorial that 98 bytes is um, uh, our team number. Are we on counter terrorists? Yes. That's why we have the three there. And if you like, if you if you want to spend some time searching for all this you'll find all kinds of information like your position on the map all that kind of beautiful stuff so um, props to um, uh, cheat engines uh, 6.3 it's got a couple of things that make our life life easier which is great um, and so we've got this and we found out this definitely has our player information so we use this pointer great stuff so let's open up notepad so we can store some of this beauty full stuff okay so what we have is um, a store. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick copy and paste here because uh, hopefully you guys should just be able to stop and read it because that way it'll make the tutorial not as long. So so we're gonna find the first address and we know for a fact that this is the player base. Okay, so uh, player base. It might not be. We'll find out. We'll confirm in a second. So that's our player base right there. No problem. We've got it. So just quick check here. Beautiful. So that's our player base. Now we need to make sure that we can also access the enemy's information. So we go down to here. So we have that first array here. So let's minimize that. Oops. We maximize the minimize it. So that's our first array. Now what? Well, now. For all we know, this could be our next, because we want a pointer that points to the player's data. So we, let's say we're looking for the second enemy or second player. So we have another pointer here. And we, we could scan, we could spend all day scanning through these, and hopefully we'd find it. So let's go to this one here. But look, look what happens. We click here. 
we see a bunch of strings here, a bunch of weird things. Is this what we're looking for? This doesn't seem to have anything to do with the, with our player or any player data. So it's fair to say that this is. So I mean, I'm I'm saying this after only looking at a couple, but you can pretty much see how this works and how this has nothing to do with our player focused information. So we look here. Perhaps this one could be it, but you can see some weird stuff around here. Then we look at 90 offset. Well. 90 offset we know is the health, so health doesn't go over 100, so our, our second player can't have 200 and whatever health, or 212 or whatever. So it's safe to assume that this isn't, I mean, uh, it would take a lot more searching to make sure, but it's safe to assume for now that this isn't our, our entity list, so the place where we can access every player's um, data, so uh, where we can loop and, uh, and retrieve that information. So I'm just going to move this for the, to the side for a second. Um, so we know that isn't what we're looking for, uh, but at the same time it stores our player information, which is what we need, which is great stuff. So we, we have that already, and we can pull uh, our current crosshair ID, which we'll find later on. Uh, now let's look at this second one here that we've added. Um, again, right-click Browse Memory Region, and we get this, and we go to Tools, Dissect Data Structure, and it b brings us to this. Um, what? Well, close this for a second actually and bring it back up. Um, one thing I've noticed is cheat and it can be a tiny bit buggy with a couple of things but hopefully it'll be alright. Uh, 324 that's fine and just do anything. Uh, yep. A um, couple of things that I need to confirm. Yeah those are all there. So beautiful. So minimize this for a second and we have this here. I'm just gonna put a focus on this. So again we have this information here and what, what have we got? We've got the first pointer here. here. Boom. Beautiful. Let's look at it. Let's look at 90. Do we have our player health here? Yes, 88. Okay, that's great. Yeah, we've got that information. We go another 8 bytes forward, just to make sure that that's correct. Uh, we have 3. 3 is our team number, that's what we're looking for. So, could this be two different player bases? Yes, it's possible. It could be copied in memory. Uh, we don't know how the game was coded. So, what if we keep looking? Let's keep looking forward. So, let's look at the next pointer. So, we go here, 8. 008 so we can look here you can see there's a lot of pointers this doesn't look a lot like our other one which is strange so we move forward uh, look through these as you can see these pointers seem to be uh, very non-related to player information maybe there's a couple of things regarding on play but it's not what we're looking for so let's move on forward 000c and we look and again it's very close to that other one doesn't seem to be what we're looking for and let's move on more and as we can see here, there's a lot of information changing, just like on the other one. So let's move on to some stuff. What have we got here, guys? We move on to 90. What does this mean? It means that we have 100 here. Does this mean that it's our correct address? Maybe. Um, so let's move on to 98. Do we have our 3 here? Now, if we look at our players, we see that there are two players. They're both on the counter-terrorist team. There's me and there's this Alfred guy. And we know that he hasn't taken any damage. He couldn't have. So he's got 100 health. And we know that he's on, a, on, on our team, which is number three, counter-terrorist. So it's very safe to say that we found our entity list, which is where we can... Or, or base, entity base list. Um, sorry, base entity list. I always get those words mixed up. Who gives a shit? It's our enemy array, where we can loop through every player. So um, from this, we can loop through all this data and find out... Um, what enemy has what, what's going on, who's on what team, how much health has anyone got. And when you think into it, it gives you so many possibilities. It's, it's great stuff. And you can, you know, feel free to go through the rest of the memory because there's a lot of really useful information here. Um, so, what does this tell us? Well, the first point is here. And we, if we look at the second one, it's a 10 in, in comparison to that. So, it's safe to say that our um, enemy distance is 10. Uh, uh, 10 bytes apart so um, when we loop through enemies to to see how far each one is from each other uh, we will use the number 10 alright so let's just write the number 10 so let's call it entity loop distance is what we're gonna call now in a lot of games uh, this will be um, let me just save this quickly just to make sure uh, to its trigger bot just to make sure I don't lose the file. Um, so yeah, in a lot of games you'll see that this is um, this can be either pointer distance or it can be uh, the struct size distance. For this one, for ours, it's pointer distance uh, because we're not 
going through a ton of structs at once. So this is pretty good. So it's safe to say that our enemies are 10 uh, bytes apart when we're checking in memory. So let's close this now when we found out the uh, the loop distance, which is brilliant stuff, um, which we'll use for when we're going through every player. Now, obviously in a real scenario you test these things over and over again, but I can tell you safely that 10 is the right number for our example. Um, and you could always test that. Um, so we've added the first address, see first pointer. Yes, yeah, so all that data matched. We've we've checked the health, and yeah, we got the uh, we got. Oh shit! Yeah, we also want to store that address. So that was two eight whatever. So we want to store. I believe it was the second pointer scan that we did. Uh, it's the one that ends in five four d three two four. Of course, you may have different variables depending on your version. So we do that and we say uh, entity base um, and this is that one. So that's our entity base and that's what we want for that one. Oh shit, did we store the wrong one last time? Yeah, our player base was wrong the last time. Even though we can use that number, it should be this one here. I, I must